Comics Plus, what is going on? My name is Akasun. How's it going? Batman. Uh, we're going to do a quick one here. This is going to be a comparison scene. It's Snyder Cut, the official trailer, versus the Whedon Cut. Uh, I would say that's a little bit unfair to call it that, but I know what they're saying. I would say it's better to just go ahead with the theatrical cut instead. Um, but who knows? We're going to see. We're going to see what, what they have in store. I think they're just comparing uh, different shots and seeing how they come out. And I thought that'd be kind of cool to uh, take a look at. So let's go ahead and... Uh, you know what? Let's go, let's go big on it. Let's go big and let's see how this looks. The doom, 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 doom. that right there. <laughs> Let me just... Okay. In Rob? All right. Yeah, the WB cut is a more accurate uh, sort of uh, thought process. Uh, or more accurate representation because I don't think even jo Joss, outside of all that other shit that's dead. going on in his personal life, uh, work life, I don't even think he would be proud of what dream. he put out. But we'll see. We're going to see when... Uh, Almost okay, like yeah. a premonition. Wow, this is a lot of new stuff here. A lot of new stuff. I'm just muting it because we all know what it sounds like. We've played it so many times in our head, we know exactly. Oh, there we go. All right. <laughs> if you blinked, you missed it, basically. If you blinked, you missed it. Let's, let's take a look here. But it is interesting to see because... Hmm... You guys can't really. It is interesting to see. So, like, as it was explained before with the ratio, you're not really losing anything. You're actually getting more. It just the feeling with the black bars. You you psychologically feel like you're missing more. But yeah, if anything, you can see how much they cropped out. I mean, I don't think it's not to me personally. It's not that big of a deal, um, with the the cropping situation. Uh, but I know some people they're like I, I don't care either way. It's like you basically still get the main point. Like there's a good this is a good example. I think it's hard to actually see it though. Um, you know, it's just it it. There is the idea that some the sides are getting cropped out just a little bit, but you do get so much more at the top, right? Yeah. <laughs> one looks like Snyder's, the other one doesn't. Yeah, basically. I need Oh <laughs> there's a there's a good example right there. Look at that, man. Um All I'm going to say about this is all I'm going to say about this per, uh, particular situation is I got to see how this comes out. How uh, Stephen Wolf comes out in the Snyder Cut. Because I wasn't... Hold on a second. I think... Let me see if she got it. Amazon's here. Okay, cool. She got it. All right. Got to get ready for my own trip, my personal trip. Um, I will say that while I wasn't so opposed to what's going on with uh, the theatrical version, um, it wasn't that impressive either. You could tell that they kind of rushed whatever to get this one out. But, you know, it'll, it'll be interesting to see how he, he comes out with the Snyder Cut. Um, but he's his, his uh, spiky spikiness. Now the other thing, let's go to this one. Oh, my God. This is, I think this is one of those uh, really big times. I think almost everybody can kind of agree I agree with that, Negan. Um, I think this one, everybody can kind of agree. This oversaturation is just so ugly. That is, that is really bad. And I almost wonder if they did. 
that on purpose or like the person who's doing the comparison scene because i personally don't remember what like i don't remember mo, mo, uh, much of the uh theatrical release but i do really wonder like man man um that that's painful to oh here's here's an easier way there you go that's just that is painful to look at man really really painful to look at um oof okay hi i'm over here now <laughs> yeah maybe right there is better oof warriors i'm building an alliance to defend ourselves Okay, now this okay, now this is actually really interesting and the reason I bring this up really quick is because I always I always heard I always heard that this scene, particularly this scene right here with the flash, my the I always heard that the whole reason that this scene originally was going to be a night fight it was a dark fight or like it was a really dark it was at night and everything and that's why they cleaned up the whole area around the scene to make it daytime but that's why there's so many lights on uh in the buildings behind you you know if it's like daytime why are so many lights on i mean it looks like it's just basically dusk so i'm i'm surprised about this um uh, in general because if I remember, the original trailer was also a, if I, it might be a, I don't know, man. I just remember this particular scene I thought was Flash running at nighttime, but it's been so long, uh, it's hard to say, but I, I'm surprised about that. How do you know your team's strong enough? Hmm. This is an interesting choice, like, um... I think everybody knew about the uh, this part right here with the uh, the day like day versus night like they just completely like brightened it up because I know a lot of people in the original trailer were were really um, pissed off about are just annoyed that everything was so dark and murky in the original Snyder trailer that came out and then they really brightened it up. To make it look like apocalypse on Earth. How do you know your team's strong enough? We'll see how it comes out. If you can't bring down the charging bull, then don't wave the red cape at it. Hmm. Hmm. I guess one of the other reasons for that overly saturation in the theatrical version was to make everything match with the reshoots. Because with the reshoots, I noticed like a lot of the actors were looking super like different I don't know kind of curious about that that shot right there because some people were bringing up see so so this is a good example that a lot of people were kind of talking about after the Snyder Cut trailer came out about the aspect ratio so it's abundantly clear now that with the theatrical version, you can see that the sides of this building are cut out, are cut off. With the Snyder Cut over here, right? Where's my hand? You see it's cutting off the sides. So I think that's kind of interesting. It's like some scenes with that IMAX a uh, aspect ratio is actually cutting off certain shots that's very interesting my if, if i were to, if, if i were to take a guess if i were to take a guess i would just assume that they just didn't have the imax camera they had something similar to it for an aerial shot but just to get that particular shot they just didn't have uh, that type of camera that, that could do that so they shot it a little different like like even nolan's imax shots are crane usually well back when you know we're talking about 10 years ago like that opening scene of the dark knight that was you know i'm assuming done on a crane i don't really think they had that done like on a um 
a helicopter or something like that. So, uh, yeah, it's interesting how you can see, like, some of those scenes are, yeah, cut. So saturation. You were sent here for a reason. Hmm. Man, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes, yeah, you can see some scenes are actually... See, like this scene here, yeah. I don't really think it's... It's it's not really a deal breaker, and I think, in general, nobody's really going to care. Like, overall. But it is interesting to see how, um, when cropping it, that widescreen style, there is more of a center focus on the character where you, you there's a minimalization, I think, of, of particularly Wonder Woman on the left side. That's a very interesting... Uh, it's I think it's, honestly, it's just an artistic sort of view, but, you know, even, like, this is a good example of, like, well, what are we supposed to be focusing on are we supposed to be focusing on the tidal wave or should we be putting Aquaman front and center here so you get that much more? Now, if you're watching this on a huge um, a huge screen, a huge IMAX screen, then yeah, of course, this is going to like the Snyder Cut's going to look amazing. But if you're <laughs> if you're looking at this on your phone, this is very interesting. Like, I don't, I wouldn't say that the theatrical version is better, but you can at least see what's going, a little bit more of what's going on. Again, all of this may not mean anything in the 30 seconds or whatever, you know, but again, this is, this is the way Zack Snyder does his movies. It's, uh, they're generally kind of dark, gritty, uh, a lot of gray matter, a gray palette. Um, and, you know, it wouldn't be the Snyder Cut if it wasn't that. And even if it takes you the rest of your life. Because even then, some shots do look better, I would say. Like we saw earlier, I noticed this Antarctica or wherever Bruce is, those scenes look much better like that. It, it matches. It even kind of reminds me of uh, Interstellar. Find out what that reason is. Uh, maybe that's the scene I was thinking of with Flash earlier. God, that's horrible. Look at the, look at that one though, man. Look at that one. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. The more and more I'm starting to look at it and analyze it, either, I, I don't think I'm really <laughs> big on either one. One looks too washed out. The other one looks too mold. Uh, is that the word I'm looking for? Dold? Like, I don't think I like either one, actually. <laughs> but, again, we're not here to argue about which one's better. I I'm just here to point out, uh, essentially, you know, that's this is Snyder style. Come again. Jesus, look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. Hey, but you know what? You know what? I don't, mm, yo, fight me on this one, though. You you damn where you damn well know if that movie was received a lot better, people would have loved that shot right there. That that that's straight out of the comic right there. I don't know. Maybe did Snyder give something like that? Let me see. No, there's uh, at least with that shot, there's nothing like that. So, you know, I remember when um, when Snyder pulled that in BVS, the whole grapple thing off the wall. Some dudes out there were 
tearing up and crying seeing that uh you know because that was like essentially a shot from the dark knight returns so i didn't like if i if i never did this comparison video i would have never noticed but like interesting so i yeah it, like some things you can argue look better some things you can argue look better in the theatrical version some things you can argue are like me look better in the uh Oh my. Oh my. Interesting. It's going to be it's going to be a wild ride, guys. It's it's going to it's going to be a really wild ride to see uh to see the Snyder cut and then you kind of compare it to the theatrical one and just see what they did. Because I can, you know, I can on honestly, story outside of the story, outside of the story, I could argue how this theatrical one here looks pretty damn cool. Him in the black suit looks pretty interesting. But that particular, the way this is balanced, I could, you know, I could see how it's... It will. Either way. It has to. Okay, so that was Diana. We live in a society. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, it's our favorite dude. It's a distant memory. Isn't that right? Batman. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. So... Uh, yeah, you know, in the end, guys, like I'm saying, it's kind of like, yeah, like somebody said earlier, it's really up to what you like as a consumer. So if, if you like the theatrical release, then be down, you know, DC Sun, I think, bought every version of that movie on Blu-ray, 4K, digital, VHS, beta. <laughs> so, and I'm sure he's going to be watching the Snyder Cut as well. So, you know. Um, it is what it is. Uh, personally for me, I think I'd probably enjoy the Snyder cut more if I saw it theatrically on IMAX. Cause I feel like that, like nothing I have at home is going to stand up and showcase, um, um, the right characteristics. Like, you know, regardless of the bvs movie it looked pretty um my first experience watching it and i remember because man of steel was delayed so much to come to japan uh, i ended up just watching man of steel the first time bootlegged uh, and they never really carried that same sort of experience and then people were just like yelling and screaming at me to hurry up and watch the movie. Just watch it. Just watch it. Hurry up. Come on. It's Snyder. And I'm like, fuck, fine, I guess, because I couldn't wait two months. Um, and uh, oh, yeah, I flew to Korea to watch it. Um, but they instead, they already swapped it out for Pacific Rim. So I ended up watching Man of Steel bootlegged. And there was like a jizz stain on the side or whatever, but uh, it was it just wasn't the same experience. It was it was interesting, but it just wasn't. You you were completely taken out of it, um, like you couldn't really be absorbed in it. And maybe if I saw it, oh my god, hey, struggle back. To the I that. Thank you. Um, so uh, with. Uh, I, I do wish, I do wish I could watch it. But nowadays, nowadays I do have um, uh, ultra wide screen. So it is curved a little bit. And when I was watching the Snyder Cut trailer, uh, for me, the black bars don't bother me so much if I'm watching it on the ultra wide. If I'm watching it on a 4K television, that might be a different situation, honestly. Um, uh I could see where some people would have known. But, you know, for me personally, I was watching WandaVision the other day, which is almost like the 4 by 3 ratio as well. 
and nobody really you know it you're 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 not really taken out of the story if the story is good it doesn't really matter what ratio what kind of bars are being cropped you know you don't really realize when you're watching the dark knight when you're when you're watching the dark knight um on blu-ray or whatever that ratio changes every once in a while so you get black bars on the side and then it pops out it goes back and forth back and forth because uh at that time nolan could like the tech the technology being where it was it was too expensive to do a movie entirely in imax so the black bars go back and forth and everything and you don't even notice it right you don't even notice it so um i think that's what's going to be the same thing with snyder uh the snyder cut if the story is good it's not that big of a deal i feel but <laughs> this is Zack snyder we're talking about He's uh he's not for everybody. So we shall see. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that comparison video. Uh let me know what you think about it and uh if you want to see more of this sort of uh sort of stuff this ba this breakdown of the technological side of things, let me know and I'll be sure to explain it. Talk to you on the next one. Peace.